Do you own a lot of shoes? Compared to some, it may seem like I have a lot, but I think the number of shoes in my closet is average. I have one pair of sneakers, a few pairs of boots, two pairs of sandals, and several pairs of dress shoes. If you stick around, you'll get to see some of the more interesting footwear I own, like my Western style boots and the fur boots I found way up in the Arctic Circle. In this lesson, we'll focus on intonation patterns within longer sentences, like the one I just said about boots. Learn intonation patterns in English with Jennifer. My model sentences are getting longer now, so I'm using thought groups or intonation groups. Remember what those are? Longer sentences break into smaller units. These thought groups allow us to pause and use different intonation patterns within a sentence. The last content word of a thought group is the focus word. A major change in pitch happens on the focus word. Sometimes our sentences begin with a longer thought. It could be a phrase or a whole clause with a subject and a verb. We can use low-rise intonation to signal that we're not done yet. There's more information we'd like to add. One of my favorite pairs of boots is from the Arctic Circle. One of my favorite pairs of boots is from the Arctic Circle. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite pairs of boots. Boots. Hmm? One of my favorite pairs of boots is from the Arctic Circle. One of my favorite pairs of boots is from the Arctic Circle. Usually I wear slippers. Usually I wear slippers. Usually. Hmm hmm hmm. Hmm hmm. Usually, I wear slippers. Usually, I wear slippers. Many of the dress shoes I own just sit in boxes. Many of the dress shoes I own just sit in boxes. Many of the dress shoes I own, I own, own, hmm? Many of the dress shoes I own, just sit in boxes, boxes, just sit in boxes. Many of the dress shoes I own just sit in boxes. If you were a guest in my home, I wouldn't ask you to remove your shoes. If you were a guest in my home, I wouldn't ask you to remove your shoes. If you were a guest in my home, my home, Mm-hmm. If you were a guest in my home, I wouldn't ask you to remove your shoes. Shoes. I wouldn't ask you to remove your shoes. If you were a guest in my home, I wouldn't ask you to remove your shoes. There's more than one intonation pattern we can use in longer sentences, either in that first thought group or middle thought group. So I'll share a second. It involves dropping our voice and then rising again. Some call it a fall rise intonation pattern. We can use this fall rise in many of the same places as the low rise. Compared to some, it may seem like I have a lot. Compared to some, it may seem like I have a lot. Compared to some, <laughs> compared to some, <laughs> compared to some, it may seem like I have a lot. I have a few pairs of dress shoes, but I don't wear them very often. I have a few pairs of dress shoes, but I don't wear them very often. 
I have a few pairs of dress shoes. Mm -hmm. Dress shoes. I have a few pairs of dress shoes, but I don't wear them very often. Mm -hmm. I have a few pairs of dress shoes, but I don't wear them very often. You try. Let's practice the fall rise intonation pattern. Repeat after me. When I have time, I put up my feet to relax. When I have time, I put up my feet to relax. <laughs> when I have time, I put up my feet to relax. I put up my feet to relax. When I have time, I put up my feet to relax. If you're tired, take a break. If you're tired, take a break. If you're tired, if you're tired, take a break. Take a break. Take a break. If you're tired, take a break. If you're tired, take a break. So what's the difference between the low rise and the fall rise? I don't believe there's a significant difference. Both patterns end with a rise, and that signals incompletion. You're not done with your thought. There's more coming. Here's where I think there could be a difference. Stating lists. Listen and compare. I have one pair of sneakers, a few pairs of boots, two pairs of sandals, and several pairs of dress shoes. I have one pair of sneakers, a few pairs of boots, two pairs of sandals, and several pairs of dress shoes. When I used low-rise intonation the first time, I needed time to think. My statement sounded more hesitant, less certain. The second time, I used fall rise intonation. It sounded more certain, perhaps even more authoritative. See if you can understand the difference when I count. First, I'll use a low rise. One, two, three, four, five. Now, I'll try a fall rise. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Sounds more certain. I can make it even more certain and perhaps authoritative if I use that angry parent voice. One, two, three, four. Do you see how the meaning and the expression changes? We can even put these two intonation patterns together in the same sentence. I did this at the beginning of the video when I said, compared to some, it may seem like I have a lot, but I think the number of shoes in my closet is average. Compared to some, compared to some, it may seem like I have a lot, and then I add on. We might also use a fall rise when we need to pause because we're hesitating to add on, to finish our thought. We know what we're going to say, but perhaps what we're going to say is surprising or disappointing in some way. You'll hear statements like, you could try, but you could try, but it may not work. <laughs> you could try, but it may not work. Those boots are good. They're good, but expensive. Let's put everything together. We'll read a short text. I'll mark the thought groups, show the focus words, and also show where we rise and fall. If someone got a chance to look at all your shoes, what would they find out about you? Shoes say a lot about a person. Do you have a lot or only what you need? 
work shoes, dress shoes, athletic shoes, and casual shoes all tell us how a person spends their time. The next time you put a pair of shoes on your feet, think about what they say about you and your lifestyle. If you want, I'll tell you where I got these leather boots. Do you want to know? I got them in Texas. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and happy studies.